Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday, April 30th. It's day 33. Um, Max Patch to Hot Springs today. Biggest day ever. Uh, looking for a 20 mile day. Um, the sun is shining. Check the weather report. It looks like, uh, I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like we could be in for um, at, at least a week worth of good weather to get caught up. Uh, and that should, we're going to try to get caught up. Um, going to try to put some miles on while the weather's good. Um, so uh, that, uh, all that nastiness has passed us. Looks like we're, uh, well, we're starting off this morning with some nice weather, some beautiful views, all right? All is right with the world. I don't know if you guys ever get tired of these, uh, like, tunnels or canopies, but I just can't help uh, bringing you along every time I see one of these because it looks so cool. Uh, at least it does in real life. I'm not sure how it comes through on the video, but it's uh, it's almost like somebody like carved them out. And I don't know if you saw that, but even after two, three dry jays, uh, we're still have some residual mud spots that you need to be careful of. It's kind of a nasty reminder of the weather, but uh, yeah, like I said, for the most part, that's all gone and should be and we should begin for some beautiful days and here we come out from underneath the canopy to the bright sunshine just like that Alrighty. This is a little bit more audio than it is visual. I was trying to get the, the birds are singing, and I, but just like always, on cue when I when I start the video, they they stop. Them and the darn woodpeckers. I ain't been able, haven't been able to get them on for you guys yet. But oops, maybe you can hear some of them. Um, to get you guys caught up, uh, you missed a couple of milestones. Uh, we crossed a 200 mile mark a while back. We crossed the 250 mile mark uh, maybe, you know, maybe yesterday or, or the day before. And by the end of today, We'll be at 274 miles, uh, hit 300 uh, in a couple of days. Uh, so we're moving right along. Actually was trying to calculate how much more miles I can get on out of these pair of shoes. And also guys, I wanted to take this time, it's been a while since we, we mentioned it or talked about it but uh, kind of throw a little commercial in here. If you're watching these videos, if you, we're entertaining you in any way, or if you're a part of the class of 2019 and you're getting anything out of them, I'd appreciate if you guys would go to probably the last slide in this video, uh, a GoFundMe page. Uh, we're trying to raise enough money to buy a portable classroom for uh, a church group in Appalachia, the Well of Nelson. All the information, all the uh, link to their website and everything is all on the GoFundMe page. Please take a look at it, okay? Uh, all right, thanks. Guys. I'll give you a little bit of scenery here while I fill you in on our day here. And sometimes it goes from bad to worse to strange uh, for some reason we were getting some text through from friends that are 
already in hot springs and the last shelter before you get to hot springs is on fire it's about three miles out of town uh, so there is a gap uh, with a service road uh, about three four miles before that so it looks like at this moment they're actually taking hikers off at the gap there's uh, rangers are stopping them and won't let them go through until they verify that the fire is out so the latest word from town is uh, just keep hiking if you get to the gap there are either one or two things there's going to be a ranger there to stop you in which case plan B is to uh, hike and or hitchhike uh, into town and call it a day or the fire will be under control by then and uh, they'll be we'll, we'll be able to hike through so um, stay tuned and see how this one turns out alrighty guys well the continuing story we're almost at the gap <clears throat> And I haven't seen any ranger activity or nobody's on the trail. Um, so I'm going to assume right now we're still headed to the gap. But as of right now, it looks like whatever fire there was has been either extinguished <coughs> or at least under control. Because it looks like we're going to be able to hike through. Um, long day today, but... Um, Looks like it's a, it's a go, but I'll, I'll keep you posted. Thanks. All right, guys, the continuing saga continues. Uh, we were, just came to the gap and hit the service road, and we were stopping here to evaluate the situation, and park services came up in a big white government pickup truck and uh, shut this section of the trail down. So now we're on the service road, <clears throat> trying to hike around that whole situation um, and back out to, to try to find the highway and hike back into uh, uh, hike back into hot springs uh, the long way this probably we had about six miles left of the trail I think we're gonna exceed that by the time we get to uh, get to the highway and get back to uh, hot spring. All right, Mighty Mouse, so tell us, tell us how you feel about today. Um, how was that? You know, never a dull moment on the AT. Yep. That's, I don't even know what to say. The park ranger didn't even know how she got up to the service road and could tell us how to get into the town of hot springs. So we had to walk into town. Finally, I stopped and asked some lady who was out gardening how far it was into town. And she did take us the last three or so miles. But the park ranger had yep. no clue. She left her desk from whatever and yep. didn't have any idea how to tell us how to get out of there. But we couldn't go yep. on the AT. Yep. That was the government's plan. Yep. The, she had the, left her desk and she had no idea how she got there. But it was just one road there. Uh, yep. Government employee. And and it's probably uh, we saw a yellow helicopter, which is uh, the uh, oh yeah, North, maybe Dan Hall was out there doing it. North because... Carolina, North Carolina Fire Rescue. Yeah, we'll have to ask him. And I'm pretty sure that was our friend Dan Hall operating that helicopter. So Dan, here's a shout out to you guys. Yep. All right, guys, this is kind of a wrap up on one of the most bizarre days we've had on the trail so far. Um, I said there, there was a uh, forest fire that chased us off the trail and uh, we didn't get a whole lot of help from uh, park services as how to how we were going to get back to town or back anywhere but uh, I wanted to give a special shout out to Dan Hall um, an Amish parrot head that uh, from way back in the day uh, we just found out that he's the one flying the helicopters over trying to put the fire out on the AT. Way to go, Dan. You the man. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Stay safe.